I've highlighted the situation before of Doug Bowen in the Parliament. He is a single father with two children under the age of eight, and one of whom is in a wheelchair with cerebral palsy. They've been on the waiting list for social housing for four years. I recently had a government um, department briefing who informed me there is no available housing for Doug. They say nothing has been built in Warrnambool to suit their needs. They said the property at 7 Crawley Street, which I highlighted as an empty DFFH government-owned home, was going to be disposed of. So after four years and supposedly investing $67 million in Warrnambool, the department informs me there is nothing for a family with a child in a wheelchair. They could not even say when a child, when the house would be available. So there was no hope, no timelines, nothing, nothing. So under this current government, Doug is living on the good and charitable goodwill of our community. But I do want to thank this family who have stepped up and given Doug a place to stay. But a temporary solution isn't the one that we need. The government has a responsibility to Doug and I will not let them get away with their responsibilities not being met. For Doug to be advised by the department that he should get a rental property just shows how much the government is completely out of touch. Locally, the average price of rental properties is $500 a week. How can anyone afford that? And don't be fooled into believing the rent assistance and the other help would help long term. It won't. It wouldn't even put a dent in the budget challenge that the family would be in if they took a rental property. But to say that there are no properties available in the government stock that's suitable for a wheelchair, but go and rent something that's still not suitable for a wheelchair, just demonstrates how out of touch this government is to a vulnerable family like Doug, who the system should be helping. That is why we have a system for that exact family that suits that system and needs to be in a, in a public housing house. So the government needs to step up and I won't let this go 